Hello, hello, good morning everyone. It's Julia here and it is the look of the day. And today I'm featuring items that in is in our presenter kit. And so this is an amazing, amazing opportunity to get a huge amount of products, full size products, um, almost $400 worth of product for $99. And I'm using those products today as my look of the day. What do you guys think? Pretty, pretty, pretty. So what do we have going on today on my eyes? Two of the items that you're going to get in your presenter kit for $99 is our palette number one and our splurge cream shadow and color hopeful. So let me show you what I did in palette number one which is our beautiful gold and browns. And you guys, this palette is so, so versatile. You could use it in so many different ways. And I've done a couple today. So I started off in my crease. I used um, Chipper. So I just wanted to create a, a beautiful transition color that was going to go from the lid up into uh, my upper brow bone. So I wanted a brown combination and it literally looks so gorgeous with this color Hopeful, which is our cream, sh cream shadow that comes in the kit. And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous frosty pink. And it just looks so good when combined with this palette. So this is one look you can do with the eye palette, combining the cream shadow and the palette. So I used the, um, the matte color here, Forthright, or Chipper. Actually, I did a combination of Chipper and Forthright and just kind of blended that into um, the brow, um, or not the brow, but the, into the crease in the outer corner. And I just started building up that color. Hey, beautiful. Hi, Amy. Thanks for coming on. And um, <laughs> I should get distracted. But hi, sweets. And um, so I wanted to create kind of a three-dimensional look using the brown. So that's what I did in my crease. And then I came back with our Splurge Cream Shadow. And these are buildable colors. And they um, start off as a cream and they dry to a powder finish. So I did one coat first using our Cream Shadow brush. And then I kind of let that set a minute and then I did another coat and that just made that color more intense. Can you guys see? What do you guys think? Just beautiful, beautiful pink. Spring is here and I just love pink. Such a gorgeous color. So I did that on the lid and then I did take um, the one on the end here and this has kind of a bronze metallic brown to it. And I um, used that in the outer corner and into the crease as well. And down, I pulled it down below my um, la lower lash line. Isn't that pretty? And I did use um, Sincere, this one here, in a couple ways. I used this on my upper um, kind of brow bone area, right below the brow. So you can see this beautiful kind of pearl highlight. And I also used it as a highlighter today. So I took our fan brush and I just kind of swirled it into that color and I just fanned it onto my upper upper cheekbones where I would want the um, this area to kind of be a little bit more sparkly and highlighted where the sun would naturally kind of kiss our cheekbones. So you can use it so many different ways. This palette um, you could use this on your brows as well. I didn't do that today because I'm obsessed with our brow obsession palette. But um, you could, if you had this palette, you could use it for a shadow, you could use it for your brows, and you could use it as a highlighter. So it's so versatile, and that comes in the kit. And then, so I, since I talked about brows, I did use our brow obsession palette. You know, I'm going to start using this every day. So... I'm in love with this palette, so expect to see this on every quick video. I might even stop talking about it because, I mean, this is kind of a given, like our like our mascara. So um, that's what I use on my brows. And, of course, our 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, the usual, and um, which also comes in the kit. So you're going to get the, um, 
the mascara. I actually don't have my list. I can't find it. But I'm going to put in the comments a list of all the products so you can see them and see what the color swatches look like and all that. And black eyeliner for my upper and lower waterline. And I believe this is in the kit, but don't quote me on that. I'll give you a list, like I mentioned, um, in the comments. And then um, on my face today, this isn't in the kit because we don't put foundations in there because um, it really is dependent on the, your skin type. So we just decide not to put that um, in the kit since it might not work for everybody. But this um, liquid foundation is great for every, every skin type. It is more on the drier side. It has a um, liquid to powder finish. So um, it has a very matte quality to it. And today I did something really fun because I've been experimenting with our um, luminizers. And I actually mixed a little bit of our Ala Mode luminizer in with the liquid foundation. And it just made the liquid a little bit more, um, because this is a matte finish, so it gave it a little bit more of a dewy, um, sparkly quality. Not super sparkly, um, but just a little bit of extra uh, shimmer to it that it doesn't normally have. Um, so it has a little bit of um, sheen to it, I guess you could say, and just created this beautiful, beautiful, flawless look. I did also use a little bit of our Skin Perfecting Concealer, as usual, to cover up um, some of my redness and other areas that I don't need everyone to see. And what else did I do? Um, I did do some contouring. Today I used our Mineral um, Pigment um, Concealer, and I used Color um, Fierce, which is this dark brown, which did um, I did use in the hollows of my cheek and my, my jawline and left and right side of my nose. And on my blush today, on my cheeks, I'm using Color Stunning, which is this beautiful pink. And then I did come in um, afterwards with a little bit of bronzer, and I kind of did that between the contour and the blush, and I just kind of blended it all together, so it just has this really nice, um, nice blended look to it. And let's see, what else did I do? i going to, oh yeah, I also set all of uh, my foundation. And I did this before I put on the blush and the, and, um, I, the contour. So I used um, our translucent setting powder. And that just sets your makeup, your, so your foundation and the concealer. So that it kind of stays all day. And it has a beautiful finish to it. And it, it kind of like hides and blurs out your fine lines and wrinkles and it doesn't cake up. So this is amazing. And what I was using before, I would use our pressed powder um, as to seal my foundation, but I really didn't need that extra coverage. So this is translucent. So that was a great way to now start using to, um, to seal my makeup and without giving that extra um, kind of makeup because the more you put on and layer on, you know, the more it looks like you're wearing thicker makeup. So this helps keep your skin looking nice and fresh. And uh, for the ladies that don't wear makeup, you could just put some of this on and it will just kind of blur out some of your fine lines and wrinkles and just have a really pretty even finish. And let's see what else did I do today? Oh, on lips. Let's go to lips. I use, and this is in the kit, this is our liquid, our Splash Liquid Lipstick, and this is Color Sentimental, and I used that on my lips. No liner on this look today. I believe we do have a liner that comes in the kit, um, so you'll get a liner. So that is Sentimental. We also have in the kit a lip gloss, and this is Color Lucid, and this is so pretty. And in fact, I'm going to use this now that my um, the lipstick is dry. I'm going to come back with um, a little bit of Lucid on top. It is such a pretty combination. And it's just a really pale pink. And it has a little bit of an iridescent quality. And I love how they have little mirrors on here. 
So I'm more kind of going on this, the inner lip. I'm not going all the way to the edge. Look at that. So pretty, adding a little bit of gloss and a little bit of depth too because it's a lighter color so it creates a little bit of a a little bit of an ombre look to it. So, so pretty. This does come in the kit. So you can see already starting to add this up. You see where um, this value I'm talking about comes from. So it's literally almost, I think it's $389 value for $99. And you don't have to commit to anything. You could just buy the kit and that's it. But if you end up falling in love with the products like I have, you can start buying um, as for yourself and you get your own commission so you become your best customer which is how I started and I actually had no idea I'd end up be sitting here doing videos and um, building a business and having clients and consulting it's been so much fun so you can do whatever you want to do with this business which is so great you can just do it for yourself you could just share with friends or you can like rock it and be a full-time job if you want work from home work from your cell phone uh, whatever kind of rocks your world so that is our look to the day and I love this brush and I hope you guys have a great day see you next time question and uh, comment me um, below bye